What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again with another tennis topic and today's tennis topic is going to be my review of the Dunlop CX200 tennis racket. Now Dunlop's been around for decades. People have seen Dunlop, they know about it, but they just may not play with it because the big four in tennis right now, Wilson, Head, Babla, and Yonix, those ones have essentially been dominating the market. Dunlop's still here though, they're still kicking and they still make amazing rackets that are extremely comparable to the rackets that you see from these other four companies. Now, the Dunlop CX line, this is going to be Dunlop's control frame rackets. Any of the CX line is designed to be more control oriented, not only from how they construct the beam, but also from how they make the racket. The Dunlop CX200, this is a 98 head size, as you can see right there, and a 16 by 19 string pattern. So this is a good balance of control and power from a smaller head size that's giving you more control with these more open string pattern of a 16 by 19, which has essentially become standard today in order to help increase spin and power capabilities from the racket. Now, the Dunlop CX200, this does come in at about 10.8 ounces unstrung. And then once you put the string in it, you're looking at about 11.4 ounces. So it is a little bit more of a hefty racket. If you're used to a lighter weight racket, there are other versions available in the CX line that you can try rather than going straight to this to where it may be too much of a jump for you at the current moment. But if you're using other rackets like this, such as the Bablat Pure Strike or the Wilson Blade, the regular 98 16 by 19, this Dunlop's going to be very comparable and just have a very similar play and feel compared to those two rackets. Now, one of the reasons that I like Dunlop a lot is that the Dunlop rackets are not as hard on the arm as the Bablat rackets. So I have written the Pure Strike here. The Pure Strike is a great racket for control. The one thing about it is that it's made by Babolat. Since it's made by Babolat, it tends to be a little bit stiffer than most of the other rackets. The Dunlop CX200, however, is almost going to be the exact same specs as the Pure Strike 16 by 19, but it's going to be a lot easier on the arm. So that's one of the differentiating factors that I found with Dunlop after hitting with them for years, whether it be this one, the previous versions of it, and just comparing them to the new Pure Strikes and the old ones. This Dunlop and any Dunlop bracket is going to be the easier on the arm version of Babolat. So if you like your pure strike, but you're getting tennis elbow or something else is happening to where you're getting a little bit of pain, check out the Dunlop rackets. Whichever one you use, whether it be the pure drive, pure arrow, or pure strike, Dunlop has the racket for you, and whether it be the CX line, the SX line, or the FX line, all correlating to either control, spin, or force, meaning power. Now on the court, one thing I did notice about the Dunlop CX200 is that some other people have mentioned this too, the rackets seem to have a really light swing weight for this heavy of a racket. Now, if you don't know what that means, that just means that the racket in itself, when you're actually swinging it on the court, feels a lot lighter than you would expect it to. There's not as much plow through, there's not as much power coming from the racket itself. Now, Granted, it is a control racket, so that makes sense. However, this one, at least to me, felt a lot lighter than what I was expecting. Playing with the Blade 98 16 by 19, playing with the Pure Strike 16 by 19, all around the same spec range as this, those both had solid swing weights. This one was a little bit lower in my opinion, so it was a little bit harder to generate some power from this racket, even though it is more of a control-oriented racket. With that being said, though, a lot of people will like this because of how easy on the arm it is for a control racket. If you're looking for a racket that's going to not really cause any problems with vi vibration or any dampening, this one I'd say would be a good one to try, as well as your, if you're still looking for that nice control-oriented racket. One other thing I did notice on the court is that whether it be serving or just hitting my ground strokes, the racket still felt solid despite having as having the lower swing weight, the racket still felt very solid. So it's a great all around racket. So if you're one of those people who really likes to customize rackets, so you can get the swing weight up, you can maybe weight the racket up, you can put silicone in the handle or put lead tape wherever you prefer onto the racket to increase swing weight or just the weight overall of the Dunlop CX200. I think this racket would be a great one for you to go ahead and customize 
and just make it a lot easier on yourself rather than having just the stock edition and trying to make it work from there by changing string, changing everything about your game. With this, with this setup, I did have a multi-filament in here. It was a bit more of a control-oriented racket, so I wanted to see how it did with a little bit more power inside of it. So it, the multi-filament very much complemented the Dunlop CX200 and what it, everything it was able to do. I would say if you're looking for a polyester, if you use a lot of spin, you can probably get away with creating a lot of it in here with even with a more shape string. Just because the Dunlop CX200, with the control, you're gonna have a lot more of an easy time making sure that the ball goes in, while the 16 by 19 string pattern is helping to make sure that you generate even more spin on your shot rather than having it hinder you like some other 98 head sizes can do. And with that being said, that's pretty much my main thoughts on the Dunlop CX200. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below, as well as just subscribe to the channel so that we can grow this channel and get this information out there. There's a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community, so I took it upon myself to make this channel so that we can get the information from the people who have it to the people who need it. And as always, Take care.